So this video is just going to be addressing my last video, which got a fair few uh, number of dislikes compared to my likes, and I understand why. Um, I watched that video over, and I realized that I could have phrased things a lot better. Um, the way I said a lot of things didn't make much sense to even myself, and I really should have looked that over. So um, I'm just going to get right into that. So the first point I want to address here is the one that I made about uh, 2 minutes and 20 seconds and I think, and that was that VR isn't for the average Joe, and I still fully think that's the case. It's for your tech-savvy individual, it's for the people that are going to build a computer to play this thing and they know how to use it and they know how it works and they have all the hardware to make it work. That's the kind of person that's really going to buy this because that's the only person that can buy this. And that's a very small minority of people. Not everyone is that tech savvy. Not everyone can just build up a computer from scratch and know what hardware they need, know how to put it together, know how it's going to power the VR headset. That's a, that's a minority of people. That's not most people. That's not most gamers. Most gamers buy a console and that's how they play their games. And I'm not saying that you know there won't be future VR compatibility with um, co game consoles because there obviously will, but... For most people, it's just not really a thing yet. It's not going to be a thing for a while, and I don't really think it's going to blow up, especially in the console market, because, again, the reason you buy a console is for simplicity, and that simplicity is sitting on the couch with a controller, playing your games the good old-fashioned way, the way they were meant to be played. That is what I meant to say. And I also wasn't saying particularly that VR isn't ridiculously expensive, because it is. It's completely out of my price range. I am not going to drop that much money on that. I am so below the poverty line, you do not fucking believe it. So no, it is not in my price range at all. I wouldn't be able to afford that in a very long time. I would have to save up for months just to be able to scratch the surface of being able to afford that. So... I'm not saying that it's not too expensive, I'm just trying to maybe justify why it is expensive. And in doing so, I explained the whole enthusiast concept. I said, yeah, so you've got people like audiophiles that'll drop literally $55,000 on a pair of, say, Sennheiser Orpheus AG 1060. And those are the people that have the money and the just a complete passion for this sort of shit. This tech-savvy person that's got a shit ton of money, you know, they're living in a big house or whatever. They got the money to put towards this shit because they want to support it and they want to be a part of it. Again, that's not a majority of the gaming audience. Or the audiophile audience, mind you. Um, even audiophiles aren't going to spend that much fucking money most of the time. You know, they'll just go out and buy a pair of HD800s and that, they'll settle on that because those are great. But, you know... Granted, that's because Sennheiser HE 1060 are literally beyond human comprehension, so, y y you know, that's that's just how it is. But yeah. And I'm also not necessarily saying that I don't want to get my hands on any VR headsets, because I do. If I was given the opportunity to test one out, or bring one home and have it, I would fucking take it immediately. Not that I'd be able to power the fucking thing, but I would take it immediately, and I would check it out, and I would see how it works and everything. But... I'm not necessarily saying, again, to you, the viewer, that you aren't the kind of person that's going to buy this thing, because making assumptions about viewers is fucking stupid. You can't make assumptions about people you don't know. So, yeah, I'm not saying that you aren't the kind of tech-savvy person that would go out and buy this thing, because that's probably a majority of my audience, the tech-savvy kind of person that knows all about this stuff. And But I'm not saying that you aren't that person. I'm saying that a majority of the gaming market is not that person, and that is true. The majority of the gaming market, again, just wants to sit down with the controller in hand with their PS4, their Xbox One, their fucking Wii U, their whatever the fuck you got, and they just want to sit there and play games the good old-fashioned simple way. And I'm not saying that you're that person. I'm not saying that you're not that person. I'm just saying that that's a majority, and that's why I don't think VR is really going to blow up. So I hope that addresses some of the concerns and disagreements with that video. Um, at least maybe if you still disagree, you can see my arguments a little better and all of that. And remember, at the end of the day, this is an opinion. If you don't agree with it, that's fine. Just don't be an asshole. That's, that's all I ask. Um, do be sure to put your thoughts in the comments because that's what the comments are there for. If you dislike a video, tell me why. Tell me if it's something I did with the editing. Tell me if it's something I said. Tell me if it's the way I said it, you know, because I, I need to know this because 
Feedback from my viewers is always good. You want that so that you can improve. So if you do have a problem with any of my videos, comment. Just don't be a dick. I'll see you in the next one.